Hey guys, it's Terrain Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fill out that wolf reference that I went ahead and posted on the server using GIMP. That's the, that's the one that I like to use to do all of my coloring and all of my art. The very first thing that I'm going to show you is where to download GIMP. I already have it pulled up. The address is www.gimp.org slash downloads. I'll go ahead and include the link when I add the video onto the server as well. Um, they do have a couple of download options here. I found that the download was very fast, didn't take me any longer than about five minutes, probably less. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and go into the server where I have the information posted. I'm going to go down until I reach Wolf Reference and then I'm going to right click and open the link it'll open up in your browser you can go ahead and right click again and save the image as anything you want it's just gonna be wolf reference for me I'm not picky go ahead and exit out of that minimize that when minimize this alright now we're gonna go ahead and go to your documents where you save the picture I like to right click go to open with and select GIMP. My computer's pretty picky about how I open things, so if you do it differently, that's fine too. Once you have it open up in GIMP, let me just check to make sure this is... Yeah, okay. Uh, once you have it open up in GIMP, the very first thing that I would like to do, because it's already transparent, is I'm going to create a base layer. In order to do that, you're going to want to go to, down to this button here. It's called Create a New Layer. You click it once, and it'll ask you what you want to name it. I'm just going to name it Base. And as you can see, the base is above the actual line art in this case. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on the base layer and drag it right underneath the wolf reference. That way, it's the line art itself is on top of the base instead. Now, for the base color, I'm just going to use white. You can use any color that you want. You don't even have to use a color if you don't want to. It's just easier this way for a lot of people that don't really understand how to use GIMP to color in anything that is transparent in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and use the bucket fill tool here. I'm going to go down to the color palette. You can just click on one of these colorful squares. And I'm going to just drag it up to white because I don't need anything special. And then using the bucket tool, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the base layer. Make sure that you have it clicked. It's because if you have the wolf reference one clicked and you try to color it in, it's going to end up looking like that and that's no good. So. You want to make sure that you definitely have base highlighted before you go ahead and fill it in. And then you, as you can see, everything underneath the liner is colored in all white. After that, what I like to do is make another layer to put in between wolf reference and base just for color only. This is the layer that you, you're going to use to just color in the wolf. So we're going to go ahead and make another one. I'm just going to name it color and it's already in the middle so that's good now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is choose a color in this case I could care less about what color it is so we are just gonna go with green as an example now I'm gonna go ahead and try to color in my green wolf what I like to do first is color in the wolf enti wolf's entire body first so I'm just gonna go ahead and just sloppily color in everything here I'm just going to erase it away from the circles just a little bit here because that's really not necessary. Okay, so then the very next thing that I'm going to do, because I do not like spending any time going around all the line art boundaries and erasing the color, I'm just going to do a quick fix. I'm going to use this tool here that's called Fuzzy Select Tool. Click it once. And then you're going to go ahead and go to your Wolf Reference Line Art layer here. Click on it, make sure it's highlighted, and then you're going to click, hold your click, and then drag. Do you see the way the lines with the tool are getting closer to the actual line art? I do that just to make sure it's a little bit more detailed than it should be. When you feel comfortable enough, I want you to release it, 
And now everything is highlighted the way it should be. It's all outlined. And then you're going to go ahead and highlight your color, your, your, your color layer. You're going to click on the eraser tool. And then you can just erase all of the excess color outside of the line, out, line art boundaries. He's starting to look a lot like that one character on Teen Titans. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and select none now that I've finished doing that. And what I like to do is I'm layer crazy. I like to make a bunch more layers with every marking or, or with every marking or, or spot or stripe that I like to put on my wolf. So I'm just going to name it marking one. And we're just going to color the green wolf with uh, blue spots, just for an example. GIMP has a great brush selection. Here is where you can select your different brush type. You just click it. And then it has a bunch of selections here that you can use. Uh, you can also, I'll just, I'm just going to go ahead and go with these spot looking markings just to go ahead and put it, use it as an example. Just put some blue spots on them. Make them look kind of neat. And as you can see, all the spots are outside of the border again. So what you can do is go back to the fuzzy select tool highlight your wolf reference, which is actually the, the line art itself, the top one, and then do the very same click, hold, drag until you get some good detail. Oh, not too much because then it'll actually go inside the line art. There we go. And then release. And then go over to your eraser tool, go to your markings. I'm going to switch the brush back to a more general wide ended brush. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of that excess marking spots that you see going on here. And that's, uh, that's about it. I mean, you basically kind of repeat that process until you get the results that you want. You can basically do it with everything. Uh, just go ahead and play around with it and have fun with it. There's a bunch of different tools, so if you get confused or have any questions, feel free to ask. I have been using GIMP for very many years, so I am more than welcome to go ahead and answer any of the questions that you might have.